In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a website for selling products online. All the resources you're going to need are going to be listed in the video description below. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step process and even if you haven't designed a website before, by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to build your own website which is able to sell products online. Okay, let's start off by setting up our website. So I use a, a service called ZipWP. So I'm just going to come over here. Now, the reason why I like this is because I can go in and set up websites super fast. So I already have a uh, login, so I'm now logged in. So to create my website, I'm just going to come over here and say create a blank website. I'm going to call it sell or seller and then create a website. So in a moment, we're going to have a website. In fact, it's right here. Look at that. One click login, I can click into my website now and start building. Now, this is the reason why I like using ZipWP. Okay, so now I'm in my admin dashboard of my website. The next step now is to add a theme. This is very important. I'm going to come over here to appearance, click on themes, and then I'm going to click on add new. Now, the theme I'm going to use is called Astra. So usually it's here. In fact, here it is. I'm going to click here on install. And now Astra is installing. So the reason why I have chosen Astra here is because it's a theme which is very popular and also very easy to use. Next, I'm going to click on activate. And in a moment, now this has become our main theme. So there's a few things I need to customize here. I'm going to come to customize and then I'm going to go now to my global and let's go to container. So here I want to go with full width and pretty much that's all I need uh, for now. I'm going to click on publish and then close out of here. The next thing we're going to need is a plugin called Spectra. Now this allows us to build components on our website very, very easy. So I'm going to click here on add new plugin. I'm going to search for Spectra and here it is. Click on install now and then activate. So pretty much we are good to go. So the next step now is to create WooCommerce because this is another free plugin that we're going to use which will allow us to set up our store and make it easy for anyone to come and buy products on our website. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come back over here to plugins, click on add new plugin, search for WooCommerce, hit enter, and then I'm going to click on install now and then activate. All right, so I'm going to skip the guided setup. So I'm going to click here on the top. Now it's asking me where's the business located. I'm just going to go in my drop down here and choose my country. Now, in your case, you have to choose uh, your country. So I'm, just gonna, I'm looking for United Kingdom. In fact, I can search for it here as well. There we go. Go to my store. OK, so now everything is all set up. These are all the tools that we need for us to set up our online store. The next step now is to start adding all our products. So I'm going to use an example of a website that sells shoes. So I want to go to pexels.com just to choose some images to use as examples. So I'm going to search for shoes here and trainers. Now, in your case, you want to make sure that uh, you look for shoes that you are selling <laughs> because if you use this process here, this won't work. So let's go ahead and choose three images here. I'm going to go with this size right here, select images. Okay, so that's downloading. I'm going to look for another one. Maybe go for these ones. Click on download. And then let's choose one more. And this time, okay, let's go with, let's go with these ones here. So these are just random shoes for our store. Download. Excellent. So now I have three, my, uh, three images downloading. So I'm also going to choose an image that's going to go with the main look of my website. So let's search for shopping and see what comes out here. Okay, so let's use this image right here. I'm gonna click on it, click on this drop down, and this time I'm needed at 1920 by 1280. Now the reason is we're going to use this image as a hero image, so it needs to be big. So in the other ones, they're a bit smaller because these are product images. Okay, so now that we have our images, we don't need this anymore. I might need to go to Lorem too, because I'm gonna use some text from here for our store. I'm just gonna copy that, and then back on my site here, we need to first add our images. I'm going to come over here to the library and then add new media file, select files. So you know those files that we downloaded? Here they are. I'm just going to go ahead and select them all and open. So now I have all the images that I need in my media library. So the next thing we need to do now is to add the products onto our store. So I'm going to come over here to products, click on all products. So this is where you would see all your products on your store. Since we don't have any, it's saying create product. So I'm going to click here 
And now let's add our first product. So product name, I'm just going to call this, okay, shoe one. I'm going to close out of this because I can just go in and paste my information. So this is going to be like my product description. Now over here is where you want to add your pricing. Okay, so let's say this shoe is $199. If there's a sale, let's go ahead and say $179. Inventory. Now this is very interesting because this is where you can um, set how much is in stock. So if you want to track this, you can go in and say, okay, maybe there's uh, 36 in stock. So as people are buying, this number is going to be reducing, notifying your customers that, you know, uh, how much is left in the store. Okay, let's move on to the next part. So over here to the right, I'm just gonna add a tag called shoes. But let's say you had multiple things like trainers, you have uh, dress shoes and so on. This is where you can add them so you can categorize them easier. Okay, so moving on, over here we have the short description. I'm gonna paste it like that. Now let's add our product image. Go, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the files. Oops, remember we uploaded them. So I'm gonna come over here to my media library. And let's say this is the first one. I'm going to set my product image and then we're going to publish. Now, I know you're probably curious. You want to see what this page looks like. So I've just opened this in a new tab. And now here is our product. <laughs> you know, as simple as that. You know, we haven't gone in. We haven't designed anything out of the box. We have our product. We can add it to the cart and so on. But let's continue on. Let's add more products. So to add another one, we're going to come over here to add new. This one here is shoe two. I'm gonna paste this line here as my description. I'm gonna add a price. This is going to be 80 pounds. This time I'm not adding my sale price. Then over here to the right, let's add our product image. So it's this one right here. Set our product image. I'm gonna publish it, add new. So this is, the t uh, this is the stage where you have to put in a lot of work because you have to add all your information manually. There is no other way to do it. Okay, let's call this 199. Again, over here, I'm gonna set my product image, it's this one. Okay, so that's looking great, hit publish. So we have all our products now, you can see that. The next step now is to go in and fix our menu because we want that it's easier for us to navigate and find where things are on our shop. So to do that, you wanna come over here to appearance, go to menus, Right, so these are the pages that are created by default uh, from Astra, so we can go ahead and remove them by just doing that. Remove the about. In fact, you might need the about, let's leave it. Come to services, we're gonna remove that. Reviews, we already have reviews, so we don't need that, so let's remove it. Contact is fine. So now we're going to add these pages. Account, checkout, cart, shop. Let's view all, just to make sure. Okay, cart, checkout, my account, and the shop page. Let's add this to the menu. Okay, so now we have all our pages. Now we can just, you know, rearrange them and make sure they're in the right order. So we're gonna have our shop right there after the about. We also have our carts. Okay, so pretty much we have all our pages here. I'm gonna save this. And now when we come to this page and refresh, you notice now we have the checkout page, my account and so on. So if I were to go to my account, this is what it looks like. It tells me my orders, my downloads, pretty much everything here. If I go to checkout, now at the moment, I don't have anything in my store here. And then if I go to my shop, this shows me everything that's in my shop. Look at that, pretty cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to fix the uh, main page. So I'm gonna come over here to the home page. So this is the page we need to edit. I'm gonna click on edit. All right, so we're gonna close out of here. So this is the image that I need to change because we want a different cover image. Right, so with this now, I'm going to add my media here open the library, and this is the image I'm going to add. Click on select. So now you can see we have a different image now in the background. So I can now go in and fix my image. And uh, obviously here is where you want to go and update your content. So I'm just gonna call this Max Shoe Shop, like that. This could be my description. And for this button here, I'm gonna say start shopping. There we go. So pretty much this is coming along. Now this image here, I'm not sure if I need it, but uh, if I wanted to get rid of it, I can just uh, delete it. So let's just go to upload here and let's choose our image. All right, so that's our image right there. So this is up to you if you wanna have an image or you just wanna get rid of it altogether. But I know you may be thinking, well, Mac, why did we install Spectra and Astra? So the reason why we did that is because we can come in here and add 
a, a design from the library here. So if I go to template kits, we can go in and perhaps maybe choose this one here, just in case we don't like this top one. In fact, let's get rid of it by coming over here, clicking on delete, and now we have this one right here. So if I click in here, I can now go in and stylize my text here. So I'm gonna to go to my title. So on the typography here, I need to increase my line height. It's a bit too much. So there we go, I'm gonna go with one. And the image here in the background can also be changed. So we're gonna come over here to our style, change image. Let's go with this one right here, hit select. And now we have our image. And then we can just go in and customize our buttons and pretty much we are good to go. So for now, I wanna hit update and then view the page. There we go. So now we have our design. So if I come over here to the shop and I say add to cart, I can now go to my checkout and now I can see that I have a product in here and you can see this page here has been designed in a really, really nice way. And we also have the ability to go in and add our first name, last name, go add in our information for the order and so on. Finally, you're going to need a way to, you know, get the payments. So let's go back over here to our dashboard. So what you want to do is to come over here to uh, WooCommerce settings. So what's important here is you need to register for PayPal business or Stripe because that's the two ways that you can really uh, get your payments online. So once you've done that, the next step now is to come over here to payments. So you can either use Woo payments here or you can add, you see like here we have Google Pay, Apple Pay and so on. So once you click install, this is how you can add all your payment options. So we also have more over here. So it says discover other payments providers. You can just click over here and this will show you things like PayPal if you really wanna go for PayPal itself or if you wanna go for Stripe itself. So as you can see, this is very easy to set up. This was a quick uh, setup if you don't want to go in and design so much and spend so much time tweaking so many things. If you have a shop where you just wanna go in, put your products online and start selling, this is the best combination because you can use um, Astra theme, Spectra for the look for the of the website. It's a Gutenberg block editor. It works like a page builder. In fact, I did a video yesterday showing you how it works. And you also have WooCommerce and pretty much these are the three things that you need. Now, once your website is complete, you need to choose a hosting company and I recommend you use um, SiteGround or even Cloudways. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.